Hello, my name is Ilona, and now fi finally, okay, finally, yes, my top, well, 15. Um, I don't want to make top 40 or something because, well, even top 15, even top 5 or even top 3 for me is not easy. No, it's, it's never easy. Every year I have this problem, I don't really know. I, I know which songs I like, I know which songs I don't like, I know which songs I like, kind of okay, or I don't care, or I don't know. But it's hard to decide which song, if, for example, there are three, four, five songs which I well, like. I I don't know which one of these I like more. It, it I I just like for example five songs I really like and I will vote for these five songs because usually yes every year I vote for maybe three to five songs. Every year every year I have these comments on my reaction videos that I'm so negative. I don't like so many songs, and I actually kind of, there is this feeling that I don't like almost any songs, and I also kind of start to believe that or what, but then uh, all, almost every, also every year when I make these stops, I actually kind of like more songs than I dislike. Usually there are maybe also, yes, uh, five songs or something for me, which I don't like. And one or two which I, well, I can say I hate, but <laughs> no, not, 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 maybe not hate, but which are I feel annoyed or something like that and I don't want to hear this song so actually yes it's not it's not like I dislike so many songs and I like only a few songs because even if I have now this top 15 there are still some songs which are which I couldn't really because yeah I didn't want to make top 20 or something but there are some songs which I also, I am absolutely okay with these songs, but uh, but yes, but these songs are not in my top 15, but that still doesn't mean that I don't like these songs. Okay, okay, uh, I am already talking too much. And, uh, uh, in the 15th place, Iceland, Iceland yes. this one I think it's a kind of yes it's, it's a nice song okay and especially compared to a, a, a lot of other songs this is a nice song but also yeah it's number 15 so it's not my favorite song most likely I will not vote for it or, and, and yes oh yeah and then um, what uh, of can change when we will have the actual Eurovision all this uh, this is just my top 15 at this moment and everything will everything will change later okay uh, number 14 is Ireland uh, also, well, it's a good song, not not boring. It's not a boring song, so which is already good. <laughs> and uh, number 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 thirteen, yes. Uh, interesting song. I am still kind of confused. I cannot say that I like it a lot, but it, it, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, but not enough to, to put it somewhere in top five or something. Uh, 12. I don't know Israel, but I don't. I, I, will they participate or no? But okay, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I want them to participate, but still, I can say that I also kind of like this one. So it's number 12. Uh, number 11, Czech Republic. 
Right. Yes, also a good song. Uh, not the best for me, but still it's good enough to be in somewhere well, um, number 11. <laughs> and um, uh, number 10 will be UK, which probably never happens, at least not since I am um, actively watching Eurovision. But this year it's a really good song, it's a really good song. Uh, number 9, uh, Netherlands, also. Very, well, I can say yes, it's emotional and inter interest actually it's an interesting song. It's a, uh, something different compared to all the songs which we have this year. And uh, number 8, yes. Austria, Austria. Oh, this is also kind of my type of music. Yes, it's not my favorite song this year, but still. And you know, I usually don't like songs from Austria. Eurovision, <laughs> so yeah, it's, I am also surprised that I have uh, this year's Austria song in my top 10 actually, so it's number 8. Uh, number 7, North Macedonia. I uh, I kind of don't, I, I watched some tops, but it was like maybe months or what ago or more. And then a lot of people put this song somewhere in last places. I really don't understand why, but okay. But, but for me, I really, I really like the song. So, yes. Uh, number six, and okay, Poland. And I don't know if it's number six or number what, because I, I think, I, first of all, I like the song. And also, it's interesting. It's, it's different. It's, um, it's, I can say something kind of original uh, if we compare to all of the songs. Also good voice and everything. And the next one, Romania. And well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I like the song. What I can do? I, I like this one. Yes, maybe for some people who say that this is something I don't know. That it's nothing really special or original, but but, but it's it sounds good, and that's what I need <laughs> in Eurovision. Or well, I hope uh, they will have something good, on, interesting on the stage. And uh, now the songs which I really really like, I think like my favorite four songs. Uh, if I, I have to vo vote, choose which songs I all these four, I will definitely vote. But about Romania or, or Poland, for example, or Macedonia, I or Austria, I don't know yet. Well, okay, definitely I will. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely, I I think because I like the songs. But of course, if the staging and performance and live performance and it will be awful, then yes, maybe I will not. But okay, <laughs> number four is Finland. So uh, again, uh, Finland uh, this year is one of my favorite songs. But okay, a number uh, three, uh, Albania, and also yes, number three. But it doesn't really mean it's number three because, well, these first songs in first places I kind of like them equally, and I cannot say which one I like more. I mean, I cannot say that I like this one really so much more than Finland or other songs, uh, in, like my number two or number one. But yes, I, I, I like Albania, also almost every year, every year I, I like Albania, so <laughs> yeah. And uh, 
number two will be France and also, well, it's kind of number two, but it's kind of number one because I really like the song. Um, unfortunately, Spain chose. I, I cannot say the wrong song. Uh, but because that song is is good but it's not my favorite song but again maybe it's maybe it's good that spain didn't chose that terra uh, song uh, because um, there will there will be this competition between france and spain because but Sp yeah but spain i also really like them probably even more than france not not much more, little bit more, uh, because these two songs are kind of somewhat similar, but at the same time not as similar, maybe uh, still different enough. Yes, and even if Spain had this terror song, it would be also well, probably both of these songs would be very high in my top. And I would vote for both of these songs. But okay, we have only France. And yes, I, I like it. It is my type of music. And and okay, okay, number one also, yes, wasn't really easy choice because I mean it was easy to tell that I really like the song, but Again, uh, how can I say if I like this song more than France or Albania? I don't know. I don't. Because all these songs are my number one, kind of. Yes. Uh, but, well, okay, that was my top 15 at this moment. I really, I don't think... Um, uh, my top three or five or something will really change. I I hope that uh, they will not ruin their songs and and on their actual Eurovision. Well, okay, song will not change most likely, but still, um, that uh, visual part is also important. But yeah, yeah. Well, I I don't know. I hope these my f most favorite songs will, of course, qualify and will have a good result. But most likely, uh, not all of them will qualify because it. This is how it happens every year. Okay, France. Okay, they don't need to qualify. <laughs> Okay, and I think that's it, and thanks for watching, and goodbye.